Check, 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 check. Yep. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Thank you, everyone. At this time, can I have Melissa Davis please come up? She's going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Join me as we recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello. I'm Mr. Byron Hobson, Administrative Principal of Thomas W. Harvey High School. Welcome to the commencement ceremony for the Thomas W. Harvey High Class of 2023. I would like to recognize Superintendent Dr. Joshua Engelhart, Assistant Superintendent Mr. Michael Chosky, Board of Education President Ms. Kathleen Powers Doney, and board members Ms. Katie Briggs. Ms. Pat Brown, Ms. Kelly Faulkner-Williams, and Mr. Charles Tackett. I am incredibly grateful to all of the staff and scholars who have worked so hard to make the 2023 commencement possible, safe and meaningful. Thank you to the scholars who are going to carry themselves with dignity and respect as they walk across the stage at Jack Britt Memorial Stadium to receive their diplomas, many with creatively decorated motherboards. But really, I want to talk to the graduates. It is a time for you to take what you have learned at Harvey, on your sports teams, in the classrooms, in your music ensembles, in school clubs, the school hallways, musical plays, and from your family to utilize those experiences to make a difference. Class of 2023, we are so proud of you and know that you will continue to make a difference in your family, community, country, and the world. Briefly, before I introduce the first speaker, I want to remind everyone that this is a dignified ceremony. I would like to respectfully request that you hold your applause until every scholar's name has been called. Each scholar should have the opportunity to hear their name announced without distractions that deflect from the accomplishment that they are rec being recognized for today. At this time, can we please give the class of 2023 the accolades and round of applause that they deserve. Let's give it up for the class of 2023. Is that all we got? This is the class of 2023, the ones that went out during the pandemic. Let's give it up.
great and thank you. So now, let's have a formal and sophisticated ceremony that honors the hard work of our scholars. At this time, I would like to welcome back class president, Melissa Davis. Good evening, and welcome to the 155th commencement of Thomas W. Harvey High School. This evening marks a momentous occasion for the graduates of 2023. A few have enlisted in branches of the military, others will begin a career, many will enter university in the fall, and some will take a gap year for self-reflection and discovery. Because this class is filled with resilient individuals, the officers created this year's quote to express our sentiment of the past four years. We started with something unpredictable, but we will end with greatness. Red Raider pride has taught us that we can accomplish anything. With perseverance, respect, integrity, determination, and empathy, we can overcome anything and leave a memorable impact. Thank you to everyone who has guided and supported us. We appreciate your commitment and dedication to our education. Again, thank you for joining us and welcome to this evening of celebration for the class of 2023. At this time, we're going to have our valedictorian speeches. Our first speech is going to be by Jesus Flores. Dr. Engelhart, Principal Hopkins, members of the school board, teachers and staff, friends and family, and fellow graduates. Thank you to all of those who have joined us this evening. Congratulations to the class of 2023. It is truly an honor to be able to deliver this address. We are here to celebrate the completion of one of the most important chapters of our lives. When offered the opportunity to address my peers tonight, I knew I didn't want to bore you with the sob story of the adversity that I faced to reach this point in my life. Instead, I wanted to offer guidance from my experience. From here on out, life is what we make of it. Prepare yourself to endure and overcome some very difficult obstacles. Life may get tough. That is simply the reality. As I ponder these words, I think back to a poem introduced to me by my sixth grade teacher, Mrs. Kaplan, entitled Mother to Son by Langston Hughes. I hold this piece of literature extremely close to my heart and refer to it in times of stress and despair. I encourage you to read this poem because when life for you is no crystal stair, but instead has tacks and splinters and torn up boards, read it. When you feel that you've reached the point in your life that has no light, just read it. Read it and you'll find the strength and the motivation to persevere. I now wanna share three principles that I utilize in aspects of my life that I believe will benefit all of us as we move forward into the direction of our dreams. Number one, know your purpose. After the conclusion of the ceremony, we will all realize a fresh start. Each of us will begin shaping the future we've envisioned and undoubtedly will face societal pressures. What I want you to remember is that multiple roads lead to success and it can be whatever you make of it. The strengths you possess, the moral values you hold will pave the way. As long as you seek your purpose and know where you're going, nothing and no one can ever stop you. Number two, be authentic. When you feel lost in the chaos of the world or somewhere amongst the seven million people on the planet, I beg you to remain true to yourself. There's not a single person on this earth who embodies the same personal qualities and talents as you. I've often found myself conforming to others' expectations, but then I ask, is that really who I am? If the answer is no, 
have the courage and the self-confidence to stand alone in your strength. Embrace who you are and live a life that reflects your truth, flaws and all. Recognize your self-worth and love the person you are meant to be. Number three, enjoy it. As I stand here, I think of the memories, the experiences, and I think about what is yet to come. I also think about a few regrets for the times my priorities were out of balance, each time reassuring myself that there would be a next time to enjoy the occasions I missed out on. I do like school and academics, but sometimes I would let it take over my life. Will I remember the countless nights of studying? Not with fondness, but I will remember the summer band camps, laughing and talking with friends, FBLA trips, and all of the amazing memories that we've made. Promise yourself to take life one day at a time and make decisions that prioritize your joy and happiness above all else. Now, it may seem counterintuitive to say, live your own way and follow up by relating principles that I believe we should all live by. However, these principles are not meant to be restricting. In fact, they're meant to open up an entirely new set of opportunities and serve as a guide for you to live your best life. Remember, the choice is yours. I wish you all the very best in your future endeavors. And once again, congratulations to the class of 2023. Next, we will have Isabella Brazic. Good evening. Congratulations, class of 2023. We finally made it. Our high school years and the unique experiences or difficulties we've endured may have seemed anything but simple or easy. Each one of us has a different history, emerging from diverse backgrounds and challenges, yet each one of us is here today, and I'm so proud of us. Now that we are moments away from crossing the stage comes the inevitable question, what do you want to be? A seemingly innocent inquiry that most kindergartners have a response to is one that tragically stumps almost any graduating senior. Instead of asking, what do you want to be? We should be asking, who do you want to become? This rephrasing emphasizes the process rather than the reward or outcome. A title or trophy will never compare to the impact a journey can have on you. The lessons we learn along the way are often the most valuable and critical to our development while revealing our true character. Yet, this is never an easy process. Recently, someone special encouraged me to work hard, not just for the present, but for the person you wanna be 40 years from now. A simple phrase, but when analyzed further, I believe it suggests that becoming is a task not easily learned overnight. It involves a lifetime of mountains and valleys. While this process does not provide instantaneous results, it grants us an immeasurable amount of strength, wisdom, and integrity. Yet these characteristics could not be acquired alone. I would like to thank all of my classmates for your friendship and the memories go of growing up together with you over the years. Thank you to my siblings, my grandparents, family, friends, and anyone else for their continuous support. Also, thank you to my mom for being a person I would love to become or even slightly resemble. Along with the curls, I admire your strong independence, devotion, and hard work more than you know. Finally, I would like to thank all of the teachers and staff in Painesville City Schools who have impacted my classmates and me. You consistently guided and cared who we would become, even in the moments we could not see it in ourselves. Your love and passion is something I will never forget and something I believe we all appreciate. So graduates, who will we become? What will our journey to greatness and success look like? There is only one way to find out, 
and it is entirely up to us. Just remember, the reward is not found in the outcome, but rather in the journey. Validation and credentials, trophies and rings, are nothing compared to the exercise of persistence and hard work. Labels can be stripped away, but our character never can. I know we are all capable of success, even missed and arduous paths, and I can't wait to see where we will leave our signatures, what we will write, invent, discover, or create, but more importantly, who we will become. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2023. This time we're going to do the presentation of the valedictorian plaques. Valedictorians, could you please stand? Isabella Brozick. Jesus Flores Morales. Kira Bafford. Brittany Arias Medina. Lakely Brozick. Lucia Pacheco Garcia. Christopher Dominguez Fonseca. Cameron Switlick. Isabella Ambrus. Melanie Lazaro. Natalie Boscovic. Melissa Davis. Ismael Rodriguez.
we give another round of applause for this year's valedictorians for the class of 2023. At this time, I'd like to have the class officers please come to the stage. Haley Isabella, Alexis Rodriguez, and Lauren Sams. I'm Lauren Sams, this is Alexis Rodriguez and Haley Isabella. Today we are presenting our Class of 2023 gift to all of you guys. It is a banner to the school with the fight song and it will be hung in the gymnasium. Thank you. Thank you, senior class officers. At this time, could I please welcome to the mic Dr. Dr. Engelhart for his speech to the class of 2023. Dr. Engelhart. Graduates, to look upon you today, I see an incredible assembly of potential, possibility, and promise. You persevered through a high school career marked by one of the most challenging, if not the most challenging, periods in American educational history. Remarkably, here you are. Each of you ready to carry that perseverance and determination with you as you step onto a wide range of exciting paths. You've grown up through the Great Recession in a global pandemic and still find yourselves in an exceedingly turbulent and uncertain political and economic climate. However, these experiences have shaped you into a generation that is independent, inclusive, and inquisitive. You're collaborative, you possess a healthy skepticism, and you're adaptable to change. Still, your generation is criticized. It's said that you have short attention spans. You're overly dramatic, and you're compulsive screen swipers. Now, bear in mind that every generation does this thing where they dump on the generations after them. So take it for what it's worth. It's worth, it's worth exploring, however, that much of the criticism uh, of your generation is attributable either directly or indirectly, to the use of technology. Now, the reality is that the proliferation of technology in daily life, and particularly social media, is certainly not confined to youth. If we're being honest, an addictive relationship to technology exists across all age groups. Communicative technologies scratch a fundamental itch to which most of us have always tended to be predisposed, and that is the basic need for affirmation. The difference between you and those before you is that as the first generation of digital natives, you've spent the entirety of your formative years in a constant bombardment of information and communication containing a toxicity that can be disruptive to healthy development. Exponentially larger in quantity and intensity than ever before, this unyielding stream delivers judgment, criticism, unelicited opinions, and oftentimes meanness just for the sake of meanness or outright hate and vitriol. Generations before you were not tasked with navigating this dichotomy through the key years of their development. Yet you've been charged with finding yourselves and contemplating your futures right in the midst of all of it. The result, anxiety, depression, and anger are regular features of modern life for so many. Self-doubt dissuades risk and can be extremely limiting. It's not going away, 
And the suggestion to just unplug from all of it is unrealistic. Resilience in the face of all of this has become a necessary skill in order to achieve and maintain personal happiness. So how can it be achieved? I offer that authors Ichiro Kashimi and Fumitake Koga have some really good advice. They call it the courage to be disliked. The courage to be disliked. Now, am I really going to stand before you today and suggest that you should be an unlikable person? No, that's, that's not what it means. The courage to be disliked is premised upon the fact that while it may be easy to recognize that our behaviors and thoughts are conditioned throughout childhood by rewards and punishments from others, the ways that this persists into adulthood and throughout the rest of our lives may be less obvious. Less obvious, but still incredibly powerful and pervasive. The difference is that gold stars, and treats, and praise, or conversely admonishments or loss of privileges, give way to popularity and recognition, or criticism and rejection from others. But these forces operate in the same way. They yield power to others to control what we think, feel, and do. When we surrender this power to others, we do not allow ourselves any more real freedom than we had as children. If we're driven and controlled by the approval or rejection from others, we're living other people's lives and not our own. Happiness requires that we serve as our own guides, yet many lack the courage to be truly happy. That's right. It takes courage to be truly happy. Breaking free from the confines of the opinions, expectations, and judgments of others takes courage as it exposes us to criticism and even animosity at times. This is what it means to have the courage to be disliked. Courage to be happy includes the courage to be disliked. This, of course, does not mean that we should endeavor to be disliked, but rather it just means that we should not fear it or allow it to control us. Being liked and accepted by everybody is an unfair and impossible aspiration. And thus should not be among our pursuits. We all have our own tasks before us toward happiness. Whether our pursuit of happiness prompts approval or disparagement from others is their task and not ours. Harmony is achieved when we do not intrude on the tasks of others and we do not allow the tasks of others to intrude upon our own. As I conclude, I'll turn to the words of Virginia Woolf, who wrote, The eyes of others are prisons, their thoughts our cages. How liberating it is to not submit to those prisons and cages. Graduates, do not live the life of others. Live your own. Do not give in to the worry of comparing yourselves to others. Rather, only compare yourself to your own ideal self. You all have unique talents and passions. Allow these to be your fuel. And set upon your path unfettered by the perceptions and opinions of others who seek to divert you from your happiness. Now, I know that I just spoke of how the sentiments of others should not dictate your path. But I still maintain that the thoughts of those who care a great deal about you do matter. And with that being said, I'll share that we are all extremely proud of you, and your success brings us immense joy. We have a great appreciation for your achievements, and we're eager to admire those achievements that are yet to come. Congratulations, graduates, and congratulations, families. Thank you. Next, I'd like to bring up our board president, Mrs. Kathy Dolman.
congratulations, class of 2023, and to your families, friends, and Harvey staff who share in your success this evening. We are celebrating you, and you look amazing tonight. Smile a little broader tonight. Sit up a little straighter. Hold your head a little higher and delight in the recognition you deserve. In many ways, this time in your life is bittersweet. You are ready to spread your wings and your parents are having a tough time letting you go. You are starting a new chapter in your life. Up to this point, you have lived under your parents' love, care, and influence. Even though they will always be there for you, you now have the freedom and responsibility to write your own script. You are center stage, playing the leading role, and your family is now the supporting cast. Harvey has been the training ground for life. Yes, you could have had similar academic and extracurricular activities at any other high school, but you have had life experiences at Harvey beyond any another school could offer. You have learned to embrace our similarities instead of our differences. You have learned that even though we don't all look alike, or sound alike, we can get along with one another. We can work together, compete against one another, care for one another, and love one another. You have made lifelong friends that although you may take different paths, you will never forget one another. Maintain those friendships. Each person and each experience has influenced who you have become today. As you go forth this evening, set your goals, keep your focus, listen to your heart. When you come to a bump in the road, as we all do at times, take the next best step. As Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, faith is taking the next step even when you don't see the whole staircase. Speaking of faith, the first person you need to believe in is yourself. Ask for help when the going gets tough. Look around you. You may think that all the adults have it all together, but we struggle sometimes too. We are all works in progress. Strive to be a better person tomorrow than you were today. Focus on what's right, not what's easy. Speak up for those who have no voice. Be bold, be true, be kind, be forgiving. At the end of the day, hug a little harder, hold on a little longer, and love one another unconditionally. Graduation has been a lifelong dream of yours. Go forth with pride in your accomplishments. You have earned a Harvey High School diploma, which is unlike any other. Congratulations, Red Raiders. We are so very proud of you. Good evening, everyone, again. It is my job to do the certification of the class of 2023. Dr. Inglehart, could you please join me at the podium, please? Members of the Board of Education, superintendent, guests, parents, teachers, and friends, the members of Thomas W. Harvey High School class of 2023 have met all the requirements for graduation as prescribed by the state of Ohio 
and the Board of Education of Painesville City Local Schools District, and therefore are duly authorized to receive their diplomas. Dr. Engelhart, please accept the class of 2023. Thank you, Mr. Hopkins. I do accept this class of 2023. Congratulations. Isabella Guadalupe Ambris. Brittany Yadira Arias Medina. Kira Jolene Bafford. Natalie Alexis Boscovich. Blakely David Brozick. Isabella Marion Brozick. Melissa Nicole Davis. Christopher Alejandro Dominguez Fonseca. Jesus Flores Morales. Melanie Naomi Lazaro. Lucia Pacheco Garcia. Ismael Rodríguez. Cameron Lynn Swedling. Swedling. Reed Charles Abercrombie. Luis Antonio Aboites Rodriguez. Brenda Paola Aboites. Uciel Yair Aguado Montes. Brian Omar Aguirre. Itzbel Marlene Aguirre. Yeah. 
Anthony Patrick Michael Albritton. Eric, oh. Eric Alexander Alonso Soto. Tyree Christopher James Alston. Caleb Azriel Anderson. Natalia Aranda. Rafael Arias. Marcos Angel Armendariz Perez. Mikadlo Cornell Robert Orion Arrington. Taishani Charmel Ashford. Alexa Lynn Bailey. Allison Therese Ball. Connor J. Bates. Eric Alexander Becerra. Juan Luis Becerra Godínez. Joy Victoria Bohannon. Paola Michelle Camarillo. Blaze Parker Collins. Amaya Lynette Colston. Isaac James Conti. Benjamin Alexander Croft. Cashel Ratrice Cummings. Dejanice Delgado Panel. Alexander Drake Donaldson. Dalen Ann Douglas. Aiden Joseph Fitzgerald. David Flores Rangel. April Fornes Dominguez. Kalicha Marie Francesci Feliciano. Este 
Stephanie Eunice Franco Giron. Izel Emmanuel Fuller in absentia. Emily Diane Garcia. Imani Lene Garrett. Desmarie Mashaya, Germany. Cielo Joani Gomez Nava. Gustavo González Rea. Edgar Gordillo. Xavier Arthur Grant. Porja Diajani Serenity Griffin. Charlene Rachon Grimes. Noriko Guerra. Roberto Carlos Gutierrez. Jovari Antoine Hardaway. Amari Irie Harris. Joshua Tavon Hawthorne. Allison Rayan Hedrick. Mariana Guadalupe Hernandez Jimenez. Arely Margarita Hernandez Vasquez. Jose Ricardo Hernandez Rangel. Melanie Victoria Herrera. O'Shea Jaden Hogan. Noah Todd Hudson. Turner Edward Hightree. Nicholas August Ibarra Miklik. Haley Ann Isabella. Dianis Denise Jackson. Diamond Jade Jackson. Sophia, 
Soraya Janasia Johnson. Guadalupe Juarez Viruel in absentia. Anthony Lewis Kennedy in absentia. Xavier Alexander James Kucher. Iana Desre Monique Lewis. Miranda Ruby Maldonado. Paola Nayeli Manriquez Martinez. Cecilia Abigail Mares. Desiree Marie Martinez. Daria Renee McMullen. Jeanette Guadalupe Mendez. Susana Mendez in absentia. Isaiah Giovanni Mendoza. Raimundo Mendoza Rangel. Yaribeth Miranda Pulido. Imani Marie Mitchell. Jessica Guadalupe Molina Padilla. Brian Alexis Montes. De Llaneira Milagros Montes. Alia Marie Mori. Sergio Moreno. Mauricio Muñoz. Iván Negrete. Carlos Jonathan Orozco Lino. Silvia Lisette Pacheco Mendoza. Sitlali Pacheco Pulido. Alex Isaí Padilla. Jesus Alonso Palencia. Rai 
Riley Alexander Payton. Joaneshka Perez Molina. Alan Edward Perez Ariola in absentia. Kevin Brian Pio Quinto. Erilyn Denise Posey. Noah Noel Provart. Caleb David Puckett. Ezra Pujajik. Christian Anthony Rael. Christian Ramirez. Caroline Alexandra Ramirez Gutierrez. Naideline Ramos Mendoza. Abigail Frida May Raphael. Jimena Rea. Juan de Dios Rea Madrigal. Brian Reynoso Martinez. Giovanni Reynoso Pacheco. Emily Joselin Rios. Norma Lorena Rocha. Alexis Guadalupe Rodriguez. Josue Rodriguez Cisneros. Lourdes Guadalupe Rodriguez Moreno. Ismael Alejandro Rojas Castro. Israel Romo Aguirre. Tristan Rose Russell. Daventino Anthony Salupo. Lauren Catherine Sams. Joseph Paul Sam.
Jalen Rose Cheap. Chip, I'm sorry. Forrest Anthony Smart Jr. Christian Alexander Smith. Jordan Joseph Smith in absentia. Caden Lee Smith. Angel Soto Hernandez. Lydia Silvia Soto Rodriguez. Eric Camille Soto Ruiz. Andronicus Edward Lamar Thomas. Alexander Ivan Torres. Yesenia Guadalupe Torres. Aran Torres Estrada. Miriam Savan Tour. Abril Daniela Trujillo Moreno. Christian Alexander Valadez Kidmore. Jesús Leonardo Valtierra Ramos. Lorena Abigail Vega Nava. Dalia Nayeli Veloz. Diego Michael Walter. Elena Irene Wasalison in absentia. Spencer William Weber. Lily Francesca Wheeler. Richard White. Jerome Micah Elise White. Tanner Joseph Z. 
Bed Rosny. Luz Paulina Ortega Vargas. At this time, could I have Melissa Davis please return back to the stage? stand for the playing of the Harvey Almer Mater. changing of the tassel led by Melissa Davis, the class president. Ms. Davis. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Everyone grab your tassel on the right and move it to the left. Woo! Congratulations, class of 2023. Let's give it up. Jones. 